Hey, this is uh, Gregor Arturo, and I have to record this right now while this is still working. Really, really cool thing. So I just hooked up the rotating coil, um, reverse polarity DC, so one current one direction, the other current DC, and I ran up to 12 volts, 75 amps through this before I kept blowing the fuse. And well, this is what's happening at the moment. All right, nothing is hooked up to this. Nothing. We just got the rotating coil. There's these extra cables. I want to be able to see everything. There we go. Nothing besides this, these two cables. And let's see if you can get this guy. There we go. These untangled so you don't fall down. Okay. Alright. This is. There you go, look at that. We're getting 80 millivolts out of this guy. When before I'd always get zero. So it's like I turned an on and activated the coil. So now the coil is actually putting out electricity. Um, so touching two parts of the coil, front and back, I'm getting 70 millivolts. Um, if I touch the other line, uh, I'm getting 65 millivolts. None, down to zero touch the second back up to 80 I'm touching two different circuits and still getting the voltage wicked cool so um, it's like this thing's an antenna now picking up energy but it's like I activate it I straight up just fucking activate this thing running a bunch of current through it it's the most current I've ever run through it um, so 12 amps 75 volts that's roughly around uh, 750 plus 150, 900 watts. So I ran 900 watts to this guy, and now it seems to be just running with no power going into it. Crazy. Um, but yeah, that's all I did. Um, and I used a conventional, so this is like the setup of mode, you know, just that. But I ran this little guy through it, um, 12 volts, 75 amps, um, and I tried to run AC through it and blew a fuse, uh, mainly because I didn't have a resistor, so I need to get a resistor to try AC. But uh, yeah, like, that's pretty redundant. We'll come back down to my little setup down here, um, and... See if I can get this guy. Whoa, now we're at 140. So it builds up a charge. And what happens now if I touch it? Did I just max out? Here, I'm going to turn this guy up to the 20 the whole voltage setting and uh, see what I can do a little thingy broke so I have like a little piece of copper I'm touching on it so we're getting a quarter of a volt at the moment 0 0.2 with me touching it without me touching it and just thing, we're getting oop, none. Let's go back down to the lower volt setting. But yeah, um, I don't know what I did <laughs> besides just like turning the thing on. Um, but yeah, really fucking awesome. If someone wants to explain that, go for it. Um, I know you can pick up electricity as a resonant antenna. It's picked up nothing ever before on its own. It's been zero millivolts the entire time up until now. And it wasn't until I ran this little guy. Um, all you can think of this thing has a capacitor and it's reading a magnetic field. Um, here, let's test that theory really quick. <coughs> Now that guy away, I will quickly 
tell you. It's still picking up electricity. Yeah, I just got 30 millivolts. Yeah, it's still picking up electricity. So, um, it's not that magnetic field from the, uh, or electric field from the, uh, that DC converter. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Someone want to explain this? It's pretty cool. Um, it does, unlike other run coils, it has five quartz crystals in it. So, somehow I did just charge the device. I activate it, essentially. Um, and now it's just this little mini black hole generator. Um, oh, not to mention, I tried this earlier, taking this between your hands, and basically doing Reiki on it, and this thing will just start to take off, and it sort of sends you in a little psychedelic trip. Um, I plan on just sitting down meditating with it, and I will tell you about that experience once that happens. But yeah, cool, awesome. That is my little science experiment for tonight. Ciao.